bigger. It's a big old mushroom. Or it's a cauliflower, one of the two. So one of those things is Fred Cole I don't know. I wouldn't keep it. <laughs> Crack a brew, Ellie. That's what my dad always said around 10, 30, or 11 in the morning with this guy he gardened with in the summertime. Uh, this guy this guy had been in World War I. And so then I knew it was time for me to sit down with these two guys under the maple trees and listen to stories. And it was always great fun. So crack a brew, Harley. That's for you. Harley being the friend's name, obviously. Um, he was he was superintendent of schools in Lebanon uh, when uh, they hired my dad in 1932. You know, and after he retired, then essentially he spent most of his summers out on, on our place gardening with my dad. Great guy. Well, I've become becalmed. Uh, now, we went over to Liz and Henry's uh, on Saturday night uh, for dinner and much talk. And uh, during dinner, Henry sat and read the, one of the latest Ohio Supreme Court decisions to us out loud about eminent domain. It's about an eminent domain issue. And uh, then uh, he wanted to see about three or four of my videos. And I said, great, because he's yeah, got one of these gigantic things, you know. And, uh, but he, he, couldn't, he couldn't seem to find, find them and, and, and couldn't seem to, you know, figure out how. And I, I, said, I, I said, do you want me to do, do that for you? you? want me to use that remote for you? And, you know, he says, I don't. I don't do it often enough to remember how to do it. I said, I, I can kind of figure this out. <laughs> but no, 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 no. So uh, the, bulk of the, the bulk of the time was spent with him, with him trying to figure out how to get, get these videos up and find them and so forth. But it's always a lot of fun because, you know, we, I always get to hear all sorts of stories from, you know, well, things he's been involved in and so forth. So we didn't get back to about 11.30. And then, of course, I had to get up at re reading church. So, you know, I was, I, well, I, I knew I'd be up in time. I always am. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to feel a bit tired. And, uh, and you, know, read, you know, read in church at the 8 o'clock service. And that went well. And um, then home safe by the grace of God. And uh, that's pretty much about been about it. Um, so uh, here it stands. There's there's Paul. He's going. He's getting ready to go to his. Well, he's not getting ready to, but he's anticipating having to go to this orthopedic guy. At, at, well, you have to leave, be there at four, but you have to that means right. you have to be about three. Sooner. Well, or sooner even. Yeah, given the given the traffic at that time of day in that part of town. <laughs> Yeah, Route 70, headed toward... <laughs> it is a bear. It's, it's, just a, it's just a bastard at that time of day. I mean, you've got like six lanes in town, and then boom, it's two lanes. Oh, yeah. See, I have, thank out. God I don't have to go down there very often anymore. Oh. <laughs> I might have to go down there sometime this month about some of that stuff I've got down there with that... Ameriprise guy, who has yet to reply to my email, so I sent him. I sent it over to him again. He's usually pretty good, though. I, I'm a bit surprised he hadn't replied back. We'll see. Well, so that's it, and uh, there it is. All right, bye bye, YouTube. For real this time, I think. <laughs> There's a D-Dog. Hi, sweet Daisy D.
What do you think, honey? Daisy's been a very, very wonderful addition to the household here the last few days since, well, since Friday when Thomas and Kelly Carter brought him out, her out rather. Yeah. That's not that's not how her bed looks normally, but she was trying to find Nyla bone just now underneath it. Yeah. Oh, sweet Daisy. What do you think? What do you think? You're on YouTube. You're on YouTube. <laughs> ah, another toy. The toy imperative. 